Thank you, Chairperson. I'm Atsushi Otsubo. Advantage 1. We can solve labor shortage, especially in the field of medical service and nursing care. Observation 1. Now, the problem of labor shortage is serious in Japan. Here is the proof. Safe Shiro Tohoku Josakai 2003, quote, It is estimated that workforce in Japan will decrease from 86 million to 54 million by 2050. This number is two-thirds as large as that of 2000. This will greatly damage Japanese economic growth, unquote. Two, the shortage of nurses and care workers is serious in Japan. Bungen Shunju Hen, Nihon no Ronten, 2008, quote, According to the survey taken by Ministry of Health and Welfare, at this moment, 37,000 nurses are needed. Also, within 10 years, 600,000 care workers will be needed." Unquote. Plan 1. Japan will significantly reach its immigration policy. 2. Government will provide language acquisition program. A. Reuse the school's facilities as night schools. B. Local governments will be in charge of this program. Also, they can delegate the management of night schools to NGO. Link 1. As we have mentioned before, labor shortage is a serious problem. It will damage the life of many po people in 40 years. And by the plan, we will be able to overcome this problem. 2. Even now, the number of nurses and care workers is limited in Japan. So many hospitals demand more medical staffs from foreign countries without regulation. Here is the proof. Yomiri Shimbun 2004, quote, Since Japan is becoming an aging society, the lack of nurses and care workers is serious. Some hospitals in Fukuoka and Hyogo prefectures demand to employ foreign care workers without regulation, unquote. Impact 1. We can save human lives. 2. We will be able to avoid the labor shortage problem, labor shortage problem which will damage our life in 40 years. These are very important. Advantage 2. Economy will be improved. Observation 1. Economy in Japan has been stagnant. And the main cause of the economical stagnant is that there are not enough young people to support economy due to the aging society and the depopulation. Plan 1. Japan will significantly relax its immigration policy. Link 1. If many foreign workers come into Japan, they settle there. So after plan adoption, they can be not only work workers but also consumers. 2. If foreign people get together, they will encourage the economical activity in that area. Here is the proof. In the 2008 quote, at the moment, many Brazilian workers are living in Minokamo city in Gifu. According to Mr. Watanabe, the mayor of Minokamo, they are helpful not only as workers but also as residents because they support economy in that area. Without them, many shops will have disappeared. Impact 1. It is clear that foreign workers are helpful not only as labor, labor force but also as consumers. 2. If foreign workers stay in that specific area, they will give a good impact on the economy of that area. Three, if foreign workers settle in Japan, the economic effect will be three trillion yen, and tax revenue will be plus two trillion yen. Daichi Seime Keizai Kenkyu Jo, Keizai Jo Sabu, 2009, quote. If foreign workers settle in Japan, the tax revenue will be plus two trillion yen in 25 years. Also, the economic effect will be plus three trillion yen, because these people will be the cause of the consumption increase. And it will also bring a good effect on GDP, unquote. So we can say that this merit is very important. I will repeat. Advantage 1. We can solve labor shortage, especially in the field of medical service and nursing care. Impact 1. We can save human lives. 2. We will be able to save the labor shortage problem, which will damage our life in 40 years. Advantage 2. Economy will be improved. Impact 1. It is clear that foreign workers are helpful not only as a labor force but also as consumers. Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Asuka. I have some questions for your plan. When will you carry out your plan? When? When will you start your plan? Uh, about, uh, we will start uh, now. Now, Where okay. Uh, do you think immigrant children will come to Japan? Oh, one song, please. Um, do you think immigrant children will come to Japan? Yes. Um, can, can they join a ed compulsory education like Japanese students? Uh, can oh. they join regular school like Japanese students? Oh, please remember uh, constructive speech. We can reuse the uh, school facilities at night schools. So, we night can school, it means 
Uh, immigrant students cannot go to uh, legal schools, right? Like Japanese people. Uh, uh, I mean public school, like. You um, say about children, but uh, what is the definition of children? Um, uh, it is my uh, question type. Uh, please repeat your plan like, um, about language problem. Program. 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 <laughs> oh, I said language problem. Uh, uh, please. please. Uh, poor adults. Oh, yes. Uh, how about children? Uh, they will go to compulsory education, right? Uh, children and uh, adult people can get language education. Okay, thank you. Can I, um, for your advantage, to you talk about nurse, nurse and care worker, right? Advantage two? Advantage one. Uh, we can solve uh, do you think, uh, Excuse me, do you think immigrants can really get nursing license? Yes or no? Please? Yes. Uh, uh, can you prove it? Certify. Uh, um, please please repeat your plan of your advantage one. Plan one, Japan will significantly relax Im its immigration policy. Two, government will provide language acquisition program. A, reuse the school facilities as night schools. B, local governments will be in charge of this program. Also, they can delegate the management of night schools to NGO. Okay, for your advantage two, how much will we need cost? Advantage two. Yes. Um, how much money will we need? We will need. Uh, key point is we can get plus five trillion yen because of tax, tax revenue and economic effect. Um, did you consider uh, cost for immigrants? You said we can get benefit, right? We can get yes. money from immigrants, right? Yes. Um, th this evidence includes uh, cost for immigrants. Oh yes, plus three trillion yen, and uh, three. The economic uh, effect will be uh, plus three trillion yen. Thank you. Yen. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Ikaterama. We, the Saito Municipal Law Team, believe that Japan should not seriously contradict its immigration policies. Disadvantage one, Japanese laborers will be replaced with foreign laborers. Japanese laborers will be replaced with foreign laborers. Present situation. Today, government is promoting to give more working opportunity to LA people enemy. So more and more LA people enemy are hired, even in the physical labor industries. More foreigners are not necessary. In Japan, look at this. According to the survey by Employment Committee research in 2007, without their plan, Japan can keep higher productivity and economic growth in the future because Japan can create 6 million new labor forces. Japanese productivity will be from 2.3 to 2.4 in 2030, and the economic growth will be from 1.7 to 1.9 in 2030. We can solve the problem of labor shortage is LA people and women new labor forces. More foreigners are not necessary. Effect. If the plan is adopted, 10 million immigrants will come and they will try to work in Japan. Then, then the employment will be more competitive. So more and more Japanese workers will be unemployed because the number of workers will be more surplus. Especially LA people and women cannot get their jobs. Because LA people, women, and immigrants are working as a temporary workers, then unemployment rate of Japanese workers will be less. Importance. Pension payment is getting smaller and smaller. So LA people are 44,000 yen in the last of the month. LA people should be economically independent, and they have to work to make their living. And Japan has about 8 million single mothers. They have to work to take care of their children. Firstly, we should expand more working opportunities for LA people and me. Disadvantage two, educational level will be damaged. Educational level will be damaged. Present situation, usually academic level of immigrant children become low because foreign students have a lot of troubles of new language, unfamiliar society, and different school system. Look at this graph. According to the results of PISA by OECD in 2007, the academic abilities of migrant students are much lower than that of native children. In all countries, native children's scores are always high. However, 
immigrant scores are not high at all, even if each country has a different situation. So, foreign children cannot catch up with Japanese lessons. Effect. By their plan, the same things will happen. Their plan does not cover regular schools, so academic level of migrant children will become low. According to the Japan Institute for Labor Policy and Training in 2009, today, 40% of the migrants live with their children. So if you accept 10 million immigrants, we can predict about 4 million children will come. Please guess the following situation. Many foreign students come to your class they are difficult to understand the lesson. So teachers have to take care of them. Then lessons will not be well prepared. The quality of lessons will be worse. Lastly, foreign and Japanese students' academic ability will go down. Importance. Pension payment, uh, sorry, Japan has to keep high academic ability because Japan is a country which is supported by high technology. To create technology, we need high academic ability. However, the plan is the opposite action. The plan will damage Japanese good educational environment, Japanese students, teachers, foreign students, and foreign students. I repeat our disadvantage all more time. Disadvantage one, Japanese laborers will be replaced with foreign laborers. Disadvantage two, educational level will be damaged. Thank you, thank you for listening. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Kyoko Nomura. Let me ask some questions. Uh, first, to your disadvantage one, uh, you said uh, foreigners will uh, replace Japanese uh, people's work opportunity, right? Uh, yes. Okay. And about in your impact, you said uh, you said it is serious because eight million are single mother and elderly people can't get money, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So it means your plan is to help single mother and elderly people, right? Uh, the priority is that elderly people so and women can work fully. Okay, okay, thank you. And about uh, your impact, how serious it is? How serious? Because elderly people and women cannot get their so jobs. What, what will happen by, uh, because of that? Oh, uh, what will happen? As I said, a lot of people and they mean cannot get their jobs. Okay. Even if okay. They, they have to work. Okay, thank you. Next question about, uh, uh, so now there are foreigners in Japan and it is increasing, but is that uh, replacing problem ha happened now? Yes, of course. Uh, because by their plan, a uh, lot of women. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm talking about now. So is there any actual case that the those Japanese were replaced? Uh, sorry, what do you want to say? So I'm asking the present situation. Yes. So there are a lot of foreigners in Japan, but is there any uh, actual case that Japanese people were replaced? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you have or not? Uh, we don't need more foreign workers. Uh, today's labor oh, force is okay, not. Okay, thank you. Sustain. Thank I'm you. Sorry. And about disadvantage two, uh, please uh, repeat the impact. Okay. Ah, uh, importance. Ah, uh, sorry, importance, yes. Uh, importance. Japan has to keep high economic ability because Japan is a country which is supported by high technology. Okay. To create... Okay, okay thank you. So that's your importance, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, and, uh, 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 by, by your disadvantage, how, how this damage... Uh, how is uh, how this Im importance serious? Uh, because uh, education is the most most important factor to sustain our society. So you mean, so, so by decreasing the academic level, Japanese uh, high technology will degree, uh, go down, right? Uh, yes. So Please. how serious, we, uh, how does it damage our life? Uh, because uh, to create technolo technology, we need high academic ability. However, uh, their plan is the opposite action. Their plan okay. will damage okay. Japanese Okay, okay. thank you. Um, so you mean a lot of uh, children, when they grow up, they will be unskilled workers, right? Like, I didn't like say unskilled, that. Like unskilled, right? I didn't say they, that. I just they, they won't have enough knowledge to work as uh, high uh, tech. No I right? didn't say that. I okay, 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 thank you. Time is over, thank you.
Thank you, Chair Person. My name is Misono. I have three attack points for the advantage one and three attack for advantage two. First, we cannot change the job training system for foreigners according to the debate rule. So immigrants have to pass the examination in order to get the nursing license. However, it is very difficult. According to the Sankei newspaper, as of 2010, less than 1% of the foreigners passed it. Even after Japan, the same things will happen. So nursing industry will never be satisfied. Immigrants will not solve the shortage of nursing industry. Second, their argument is lack of important point. In the future, new technology will affect Japanese labor force. According to the Machine Industry Memorial Foundation in 2008, new industrial technology will work as about 3.5 million workers in many industries, including nursing industries, in 2025. We can keep Japanese labor force by elderly people, women, and new technology for about 20 years. So we do not need a plan which starts right now. Third, they said uh, we can satisfy the labor shortage, but their argument is lack of important point. Look at this graph. As we said, if we keep today's situation, we can keep today's level of productivity and economic growth until at least 2030. In other words, we can get enough labor force to satisfy the labor force until 2030. So without their plan, we can achieve the advantage one. Their plan is not necessary at all. First, for the advantage two, um, immigrants have nothing to do with economic growth. Look at this graph. As you can see, even if more foreign workers come to Japan, the economic growth GDP does not increase. So immigrants is not a factor to change the economy. The analysis is quite long. More immigrants are not necessary at all. So the advantage one or two will not stand. Second. They showed us the estimate of tax revenue, but the analysis is quite long. I have the same evidence from Dutch Life Research Institute, but they totally misunderstand it. Look at this graph. They estimate stand only when all immigrants pay tax and social insurance premium. But by their plan, we cannot expect insurance income. Without income, the loss of their plan will be about 4 trillion yen every year, even if Japan gets tax income from foreigners. For this reason, we should not implement their plan. Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Kazukiyo Oyobu. Can I ask some questions? Yes. OK, the first uh, uh, advantage one, uh, you said it's three other points, right? Yes. And the first is that uh, uh, foreign, uh, uh, to become a nursing care worker is, is uh, have to exam. Uh, have to uh, yes, uh, okay. and that's the present situation. And, uh, OK, and the foreigners are difficult to become a uh, become nursing care worker, right? Yes. OK, and next, uh, you said uh, about new industry. Uh, sorry, uh, new technology. Uh, yes, yeah. in my second attack. Uh, where is the point? Uh, where is the point you attack? Uh, for your, uh, you said in your advantage one we can solve the labor shortage problem, but um, we we think uh, we can effect, uh, we, we can use new technology for uh, to satisfy the demand of labor force, as I explained. So. Oh, okay. Thank you. And <coughs> sorry, uh, is it uh, really possible? Yes. Why can so? Because this evidence says, um, uh, according to the Machine Industry Memorial Foundation in 2008, eight new technology will. Okay, sorry. Work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sorry. Thanks. Okay. And the uh, the advantage two, you uh, attack the two points. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. And the first. Uh, uh, now the economy uh, will not improve, right? Uh, even uh, even now, foreigners, uh, foreigners, uh, there's a foreigners in Japan, but uh, economy will not improve. Uh, as I explained, even more foreigners come to Japan, the economic growth GDP does not increase. Ah, okay, thank you. So it has nothing. And to next, do you it. said, uh, uh, sorry, uh, next uh, tax revenue and. Uh, you said four trillion. Yes, I, I I have the same evidence from Dutch Life Research Institute, but your uh, ex explanation excludes uh, the co tax uh, cost estimate. So we have to think about. It. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chairperson. My name is Katabe Chihou. Let me start a formative attack. First, disadvantage one. They said foreigners deprive Japanese working place. But this is not clear. We don't know how many Japanese deprive working places even now. So this doesn't happen in Japan now. And not true. They, uh, they said present situation. Please look at future. 
Japan will suffer serious labor shortage in the future. This is 30 million people we need. So we can employ not only foreigners, but also Japanese. And next, disadvantage too. They said educational level decrease, but this is not clear. We don't know how serious damage happened by this. And this is no impact. If foreigners don't have be in, if foreigners don't be educated, they can work as unskilled worker. Here is the proof. Zinke Hakujo, 2007 quote, a lot of companies employ many foreign run skilled workers unofficially. This number is much larger than that of the workers employed officially, unquote. So unskilled workers also are needed now. So we can employ foreigners as unskilled workers. And Japanese, for example, women and elderly people can be employed as skilled worker. And about the disadvantage too, they, uh, sounds, they said about education, but some school decreasing academic level will go bad. But it doesn't mean all academic level in Japanese school will go bad. Damage is too small, so this is no impact. Please, uh, I repeat. First, th about the disadvantage one, this, uh, this is not clear. We don't know how many Japanese deplore, uh, we don't know how many serious damage happened by this. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Triple So my name is Ikino. I have some questions. You have a four attack point, right? Uh, five attack points. Five, okay. Uh, uh, your first attack point means uh, you, you said you need 30 million labor force. Uh, yes. Even if you you keep today's promotion, uh, you hire you are you hire elderly people and women. Huh? Even uh, even if uh, I won't say in future labor shortage is three thirty million. Uh, so this is do you know how how year I when when in twenty fifty in twenty fifty uh thank you about your uh, about your um what is your second attack point or main point uh the at the same time, second, uh, second attack. Uh, 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 what point? Yes, uh, you, you want to say. Uh, about disadvantage one? Mm -hmm. Yes. You talked about unskilled worker? About uh, your second se attack? Second, second attack? Yes. Uh, second attack is please, uh, about the future. So, so, shortage. so what is your main point? of your attack? Labor sh I, I said in second attack, yes. labor shortage is 30 million people. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, what, do we, what, what is your fifth attack? Fifth. <coughs> uh, about the disadvantage too. Uh, some, surely some school decreasing academic level will go bad, but it doesn't mean all academic level in Japanese. So, we go bad. Damage is too small. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Kazukiya Oyobe. Let me start affirmative defense speech. First of all, uh, <coughs> they didn't attack the, our observation, and they were sure, uh, workforce in Japan uh, is two thousand as large as that of two thousand. This is a very serious problem. So, uh, please pull and. They didn't attack uh, 37 nurses and care workers needed, and more within 10 years, 600,000 uh, 6, 600, nurses and care workers will be needed. Uh, so, uh, and the, uh, we will take care of uh, elderly people and patients. Uh, lacking nurses and care workers is influencing human life. Please think this situation, human life possibility include ourselves, principal. And they said, uh, 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 foreigners difficult to uh, 
become non-citizen care workers. But uh, uh, key key point is that uh, uh, non-citizen care workers is uh, uh, now limited in countryside, but uh, many hospitals demand uh, uh, without regulation. And uh, and they said uh, new technology uh, covers uh, labor shortage, but uh, it is no process. Uh, they didn't show the process, and uh, and they said uh, labor shortage is not happening in 2030. But even now, uh, 37 nurses and care workers is needed, and uh, uh, in the future, more and more uh, more and more workers will be uh, lack. So uh, labor shortage is uh, actually happening, and. Uh, 82, uh, they said foreign, foreigners' insurance revenue is small, but it is only insurance. Uh, foreigners, uh, foreigners can be not only workers, but also consumers. This is the key point. Uh, like Minocom, uh, encourage the activity like Minocom City. Please, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Joe Brosa. My name is Ikin. I have two defense points for the uh, first, uh, first attack. So, uh, so our, our advantage, disadvantage to one is impact is pay, importance. Pension payment is getting smaller and small, smaller. So elderly people are 44,000 yen in the late every month. So elderly people should be economically independent and they have to work to make their living. And Japan has about eight, 8 million single mothers, so they have to work to take care of children. However, by their plan, uh, if 10 million immigrants will come uh, and they try to work in Japan, then the employment will be more competitive. So more and more Japanese workers will be unemployed. So uh, the people and women will lose the working chances. So it is a, our, our, impact, impact, our impact is very serious. And also they said, uh, they need, they can need more labor force because Japanese labor force will you need 30 million, 30 million labor force in 2050. But why do we need their plan right now? We have already proved that we can keep that today's labor, uh, le today's level of productivity and economic growth until 2030 without plan. So, so we strongly oppose to to their plan, which starts right now. So, next for the third. Second and the third attack, fifth attack. So our disadvantage to, I'll explain our disadvantage to is the in impact. By their plan, all immigrant children have to go to regular school like Japanese people, but teachers and school have to take, take care of all of them. So please imagine many foreign students come to your class. All of them have different nationalities, languages, and customs. Can they understand math, social science, Japanese history, and Japanese? Can they really respect Japanese culture or customs? Teachers have to deal with all, all these problems, so their compulsory education will make our disadvantage too more serious. It will just confuse Japanese good education. For this reason, we should not implement their plan. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Kyoko Nomura. Let me speak the summary speech. Uh, first of all, please look in long term. Advantage one has three points. First, labor shortage problem because of aging society and depopulation. Two, overcoming the shortage, especially in nurses and care workers. Three, saving the human life. 600,000 are needed. Advantage two has three points. One, overcoming the shortage, we can encourage economical activity. Two, foreigners become consumers, they admit this point. Three, three trillion yen of social effect, they admit this point. Uh, let's move on to disadvantage. Disadvantage one, foreigners take the working opportunities of Japanese people. Uh, but uh, most of foreigners will work as unskilled workers, and labor shortage will surely happen in Japan. So both Japanese and foreigners can work in Japan. Disadvantage two, decreasing of academic level. A uh, key point here is that foreigners can live in their home countries, but after coming into Japan, if foreigners have skills, they can work as nurse or care workers. And also unskilled workers, they can, uh, a lot of co companies want them so they can work. So their impact is, uh, and also academic level won't uh, decrease in all, all schools in Japan. Let's compare the impact and the police looking long term. First, 
impact of disadvantage one and disadvantage two. Affirmative, our side said three trillion yen per year of social effect, and negative side said decrease, decreasing of the high technology. This is not clear, and how does it damage to our life? So affirmative side's impact is much bigger than negative side. Next, impact of our life. Affirmative, our side say overcoming the shortage of nurses and care workers, we can save a lot of human life, possibly including ourselves. This is very important. And negative side say uh, foreigners will cause Japanese workers work opportunities, uh, will replace Japanese workers or but, uh, but labor shortage is serious, so ev everyone can be employed. So our 3 trillion yen and saving a lot of human life is very important. So please vote for affirmative side. Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Asuka. I'd like to summarize the argument. Firstly, I'd like to explain their weak point. Next, I'd like to explain our disadvantages. Their advantage one is nursing and care worker industry will be protected. They have a weak point. Even now, only 1% of the foreigners can get nursing license. It means it is very difficult to become nurse or care worker, so nursing industries will be never satisfied. So their advantage one will not happen. Next. Their advantage too is economy will be improved. They have two weak points. First, immigrants has nothing to do with Japanese economy. So even if we accept immigrants, economy will never improve. So uh, second, um, we also have Dutch Life Research Institute evidence. By their plan, we cannot expect social insurance. It means we cannot get two trillion yen. So without social insurance, we will lose four trillion yen every year. So compared with these things, cost is higher. So their disadvantage too will not happen. However, as you know, our disadvantages are quite serious. Disadvantage one is Japanese labor will be replaced. They said we, will, we, will, we need more labor forces because Japanese population was small in 2050. But why we need their plan right now? As we said, without their plan, we can keep today's level of productivity and economic growth until 2030. So we strongly oppose their plan, which starts right now. So uh, however, by their plan, Japanese labor force will be replaced. Japanese people cannot get income. Without income, they will be difficult to make their living by themselves. Next, disadvantage two is the education level will be damaged. They admit Japanese academic ability will be bad. So disadvantage is obviously serious. Their plan will confuse Japanese teacher and immigrants. It will lower the Japanese academic level. Education is the most important factor to sustain the country. Today, Japan needs to improve the education, but they are planning an opposite action. For this reason, we should not implement their plan. Thank you for listening. Hello, everybody. So, I will announce the winner in the beginning. But I have to ask two questions. Do you remember the first goal of this tournament? Okay, how many of you made a lot of new friends? Come on! Okay, the second goal. Who were good losers? Good losers means even if you lost some small rounds, you don't care about that. You are always looking for the future. Who are looking for the future and who are good losers? Raise your hands. Yeah! <laughs> so that means the winner of this tournament is actually you. Thank you. But wait a moment. I think I have to announce some champions. <laughs> Obviously, the final round was very symbolic. This tournament is probably the most competitive tournament ever in the history of Japan, I guess. I'm talking not about, uh, well, I'm only talking about debate contest, not about Ekiten contest, obviously, but <laughs> in the history of debate, we didn't have this strong 64 teams competing each other before. Last year, it was a very competitive tournament, 
But this year, 64 teams were selected from each area, each area. So they are champions themselves. So it was a very tough competition. Only four teams can go to the final rounds. But in my opinion, in my objective opinion, I think that most of the teams did not have much difference. Much difference, but some difference in luck only. Their debating ability was so good. The final round is a symbol of this competitive tournament in the sense that, for example, uh, it, the most of the speeches was ridiculously good, actually. Well, ridiculously good is not a very good English phrase because, uh, because uh, in my opinion, I cannot believe, uh, I, uh, I cannot see the future, actually. And four years ago, when this tournament system happened, well, I, will, I thought that it would take 10 or 20 years for debate culture to come into this society. But four years, and we have this tournament. And every debater knows the roles, knows the, uh, knows the rules, knows the roles, and doing their best. And I don't have much to say to complain against them. And especially two things were good in this final round. Cross-examination. Cross-examination were very strategic. Strategic in the sense that they are linked to the attack or the defense speech afterwards. They are asking questions beforehand. For example, the negative team asked the affirmative team about education. Why did they ask the question? Obviously, they were thinking to use the answers in the attack speech. And they did it. So such kind of strategic thinking cross-examination is superb. I didn't imagine that four years ago to happen in this tournament. Such kind of thing is superb. And second example is all the issues have three sub-issues. For example, advantages, disadvantages, all have the analysis on the present situation, the analysis on the effect, the analysis on the importance. That is the textbook kind of theory. But both teams successfully did that. It is one thing to know about the theory and the other thing to do it in reality. And it's amazing that both teams did these three point proofs in each issue. And obviously, the debate didn't end there. The attack speech effectively attacked those three points. So until the end, the judges cannot decide which team won. And actually, this debate was a split decision. It was not unanimous. It's not 5-0. I'm going to go into the details. But before going into the details, one recommendation. They have three good subpoints, but especially, I think there is some room for in, uh, improvement in the field of importance or significance. This is not only for the final round. Some of the judges mentioned to me that in the preliminary rounds too, good analysis on causality or good analysis on present situation, but we need more explanation on the importance of the issue. For example, affirmative side argue about economic impact, economic impact of immigrants, residents. And they mentioned about 3 trillion yen. That's a quantity evidence. How good is 3 trillion yen? We don't know. I don't have 3 trillion yen. I won't have it in a million years. So I don't know what importance of 3 trillion yen will be. We want explanation. Qualitative explanation. Quality. In Japanese, in importance, we need both. For example, the negative team said about labor necessity. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, labor replacement by uh, the immigrants. The Japanese labor force will be replaced by immigrants' workforce. And they mentioned like 8 million single mothers will be unemployed. They only have the money. Well, 
Eight million, that's the quantity kind of evidence. But how miserable will they be if immigrants will come? I don't know. Well, I can guess a little. I am a sociologist. So I can personally guess a little about how we can help them, the single mothers in the society. But most of the people don't know how miserable they will be when they will be unemployed and not be helped by the government. So that kind of explanation is about the quality, shitsu again. So not talking about just quantity, you need more about quality. And if you can explain both of them, that will be a good explanation about the importance of your issues, okay? So about the, uh, each issue, I found it presented two advantages. First advantage is called labor shortage. They've argued that 30 million labor workforce will be lost in 50 years. And especially in the nursing and caring industry, those people will be, uh, those will people will be necessary and immigrants will be, will be helpful for that. And the bandage too, uh, talks about the economic impact of the immigrants' residents. They will work and they will also consume. Negative side presented disadvantage one. Labor will be replaced by immigrants, and especially the elderly workers and single mothers will be replaced. And disadvantage two is talking about the confusion of education, as I mentioned earlier. Now, about disadvantage two, this was attacked on the importance. How serious will be the confusion and what effect will that be? That things were not so well refuted by the negative team. So a disadvantage too seems to fade away. And about advantage too, the affirmative team could not refute the negative attack also on the importance about their estimation of three trillion yen doesn't take into consideration about four trillion yen on social expenditures. And such attack remains, so advantage two is kind of gone. So it is a battle between advantage one and disadvantage one. And about disadvantage one, the affirmative did make a very splendid attack that 30 million workers will be lost in long term. Negative team argue that we have sufficient labor force to 2030. Now, which theory is true? It depended actually on the judges. And about advantage one, actually there was a splendid attack from the negative team arguing that only 1% can get the license for nursing. So even if a lot of immigrants came, it, they cannot work as nurses. So advantage one has some capbacks, and disadvantage one is attacked by, attacked by the opponents. So which team won? I'm gonna ask my assistant here, over here. Minamu Chan, did your friend Takama Nishi win from the prefecture? Mm -hmm. You can't speak. <laughs> oh, you're crying. I'm afraid. Disadvantage one was considered to be more serious than advantage one in the short term. So, four judges voted for the negative team. Municipal Urawa. <laughs> but this was a splendid debate. Big hands for both teams.